Hi, Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to upgrade additional RAM to your HP NV desktop. Alright, so let me show you the model number. If you flip it around at the bottom of your desktop, you're able to take a look at the product number and the model number. The model for this is HP NV TE01-3244. Original of the capacity on the RAM is 12 gigabytes and today we'll upgrade it to 16 gigabytes by removing the 4 and put in the 8 gigabytes on it. All right, so here is the front of the desktop. Hopefully you have the same model as mine. The power button is on the top right corner, headphone jack, USB ports, SD card reader, and your USB-C. All right, so when you lay it down, you need to have a T10 screwdriver, which is the torque 10, or you can use a flathead screwdriver. Doesn't matter, either one of them would, would do. All right. So get the T10 screwdriver, go ahead and unscrew the black screw here for the side panel. Once you have unscrewed it, slide the side panel to your left. And when you slide it, you can now remove the side panel. Here you can see this is the entire internal part of your desktop. Now before we can get into the RAM and remove the 4 gigabytes, we need to remove this black panel right here. Alright, so we can use the flathead or the T10. I just wanted to show it to you. Some of you guys might not have the T10 screwdriver. So therefore, it is a lot easier to find a flathead screwdriver. So remove that one screw. Now you can pop open. that little black cover right here so lift it up towards your body and slide it away at 45 degree angle because there is three little notch that notch underneath the bottom of your desktop once you have done that process the next step i like to do is to remove the front panel you can see the three little clipper open it up open up and the third one is at the bottom here and once you slide a three um, clipper, the front panel, the front entire HP panel would just come right off to your right side of it. Once you have done with that process, the next step is to remove this additional hard drive bay or bracket. So first we need to remove all that cable. So open up that little clipper and slide that There's a screw here, so you need to flip it to the front and get that screw out. Okay, once you have removed that one screw, now you can flip open that bracket, the little bay, and remove it. At this point, you can see that the, the RAM is exposed. Now let's take a look here. So if you press the two sides, the two white clipper, that clipper is the one that clip onto the RAM. So you need to push it out by pressing it down. Okay. And now you can lift up the RAM straight up. So lift it straight up. Here, if you take a closer look, the original HP RAM is the 8 gigabytes 8 gb pc4 that stands for ddr4 okay once you have removed the ram this is the 8 gigs and let's do that on the other side press it down and you can remove that ram and this is 4 gigabytes okay so 8 plus 4 that is 12 gigabytes of ram original from the hp computer now you can actually add, replace this one. Let's say you upgrade with this RAM. So eight and eight, you just upgraded yourself to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Or you can use a 16 
and 16 gigs of RAM to become a 32 gigs of RAM, right? So your preference, if you want to speed up your computer, do multitask, you need to upgrade the RAM. These are the step on how you, you can do it. If you're not sure where to buy the RAM from, what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. You can check it out through Amazon or through eBay. They will direct you to buy the correct RAM and you can follow along with the video and get yourself upgrade to a better, uh, faster RAM. Okay, if you have a comment, if you have any question, comment below. So I do read your comments and I do try to answer, answer you guys back. Um, regarding about any computer questions okay so let's reinstall the ram make sure that the clipper is open right the clipper you do not want it to be closed make sure it's open and now you want to align with the ram so you see this little hole right here that hole has to match the motherboard on this part the bracket once you have it aligned properly what you want to do next is to press it down and you can hear that clipper lock it on its own. Coming back, do the same thing for this side and press it down. Okay, once you have done that, double check with the clipper, make sure the clipper is all the way closed in, then you're all set by just upgrading the RAM. We are going to reinstall everything back together, so slide that little uh, cover here into the three little slider and push it down get that one screw putting it back in the front and put the screw and close it remember all the wires that we removed earlier so let's put it back together and just clip it back. The next step is to get the back cover, align the three little thing at the bottom and close it down. Remember that one screw. The next step is to reinstall the front panel. What you want to do is you want to align them here in the front first. Make sure all the USB is aligned properly. and then press it down. So you just clip everything back together. And once you have done with that process, the next step is to go ahead and slide the side panel back together. Slide it back to your right and put the final screw at the very end. Okay, so there you have it. We just upgraded the RAM from original 12 gigabytes to however you like up to 16, 32, whichever way you like it. Uh, if you're not sure where to buy the, the tools or the RAM, what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. It will direct you to either Amazon or eBay for this upgrade. And again, um, if you find the video is helpful, please go ahead and give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe, okay? And if you have any other question regarding about computer, please comment below. I do read your questions and I'll try to answer you in a timely manner. I appreciate you for watching the video and uh, I wish your upgrade is a great success. And thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.